here in this meet. Uh, few participants are uh, very eagerly and uh, eagerly participating here. We have faculty from other engineering colleges and students. Thank you so much for your cooperation. Um, you know, very uh, passionately you are learning. Um, Uday Shankar sir, every day uh, our expect expectations are increasing. Uh, today, how you, uh, as I said, you are a passionate teacher. Yes, uh, so we are expecting more from you. Today we are going to learn about trust, trust analysis. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma uh, yeah, yeah. For industry design, definitely every student should learn uh, to analyze the trust by using Star Pro. Uh, are we going to cover the load calculations also? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. The load calculation will be take a different part. I will how to create the one truss, how to give the loads and uh, the truss calculation load is a simple method, ma'am. So how to create the truss and how to act the loading, live load and dead load, and how to analyze the structure also. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, uh, for uh, for uh, analyzing the truss and uh, automatically in stand ma'am you simply apply the load on yes, slab yes. you will need the manual calculation means it's a another video in my youtube ma'am how to on uh, load calculation in the slab to beam beam to column in manual calculation also ma'am okay sir here we are using um, for press analysis we have how to calculate the width the load from which speed, all those things they will study in the design of case structure. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma but we don't cover here. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I simply okay. how to okay, make this. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, ma uh, good evening to one and all. Uh, today we will discuss small discuss about, discuss about yesterday class, right? Yesterday class create about small framed structure, right? Small framed structure. Then the columns are failure. Right, the columns are failure in yesterday class. How to retain this columns? Right, how to pass the columns for this structure? Right, today we'll small discuss about yesterday's class. Sir, Logaraja, sir, my audible audio voice and video are visible, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. So, YouTube live also. So, YouTube live is audible or visible, sir? Oh, okay, sir. Okay, yesterday we discussed about uh, how to create the 3D structures and other models. We will create a one framed structure and you apply the load also, right? But yesterday will some columns are failure, right? Click this automatically, this columns are failure and this columns are failure, but our area and load will be high. How to pass the all columns? Simple method to increase the column sizes, right? How to in first of all what are the columns are fails see this simply see this type and this columns and this columns sorry first of all once you open simply unless this structure right okay is automatically what are the columns this columns are pass this column is a failure and this column is pass this column is pass and this column is failure and this column the three columns are failure right this column and this column and this column i change the sizes for three columns right 230 into 600 simply select this three columns then select Assign to beams, assign. Yes. I simply change this column size for my three column size, sizes. Simply go to analyze, run analyze, save. Okay. 
okay then give done then go to check your columns this is automatically fails right then this column will be passed our load value is but 377 the moment value will be high once you design the column three two factors are there main factor is a load condition and another one factor is a which condition another one factor is a moment condition the moments are high in this column right so the automatically the AST will be high and the, our percentage of steel is less than 0.8 more not more than 4 percentage this is our uh, is a minimum condition okay this is our 25 mm rod and 8 mm 8 numbers right next this column is failure right simply click this this column also pass this is our load value moment will be high our AST required AST percentage is 1.74 not more than 4 percentage right our boss size the number of bars the number of bars is 12 the 16 bars are provided you will be take this, this value or directly calculated this value into number of rods right this is a one condition but this column is failure how to increase the size means simply go to define go to rectangular uh, width is a 250 i change the width is a 250 and depth also 600 right i change the width is a 250 it's like some l columns right simply apply assign to view assign yes then go to analyze run analyze save the l shape columns and t shape columns also available in columns how to find the reinforcement bit you refer the sp34 code books right then see this automatically your column will be pass right automatically your column will be pass uh, some i increase my width of the beam sorry width of the column this is our moment is high the load will be small ast required the percentage of steel and the bar number this provide the 25 number of bars 35 day of bars eight numbers will be provided right check it simply the all columns are passed in my concrete this is a method once you failure in this structure simply go to check and clear all numbers are passed once you check right now it's automatically then all numbers are passed right the beams are automatically passed see this automatically our beam reinforcement provide the ast is high so provide the four bars of 25 mm dia this are bottom bars are 16 right but the, all the beams are passed but the rods diameter is high right now understand this is the basic concept for concrete designing once you failure the beam or concrete uh, simply increase the sizes for your columns and beam steadily fails for uh, some of the columns right today will increase they will increase the column sizes the automatically the column will be passed right this is a condition okay the next one is a this concrete design this concrete design for columns right uh, yesterday we'll discuss about beam uh, today we'll discuss about column right i designed the one number for columns right okay same procedure same procedure simply go to envelopes then go to new envelope same i designed the one column right okay then go to this code combination load comes into this side give okay then go to second one is a member i design this column simply click this column go to members auto form members automatically created this numbers right automatically i created this m1 member the next one is a briefs right groups and briefs simply click this simply click this groups and briefs simply go to new brief then this is the column right i provided the c sorry it's provided the c for this columns right provided the c the design code is the is456 and our design type is a column right our design type is a column simply click ok then change the reinforcement reinforcement type you will be change it right 
simply go to a grade of concrete column concrete is a m20 or m20 and the main main beams are same like that simply go to change a f15 or 500 my column size and ties are fe415 or any one you will be created right this is a simple step you will be fe400 m25 grade of concrete and fe415 right okay next one is a column factor you will the bracing condition rod need the effective length you will be calculate automatically you will be available. Uh, well, next one is a load members right simply load key selected i take a combination load right simply click ok right simply click ok the lower edges sir my voice is audible sir, lower edges sir oh, okay sir fine okay i simply select this uh, oh, okay, oh, okay, sir. Is it oh, okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Then go to new design group. Then our number is C. Simply click OK. Right, the procedure is over. Then simply go to design the member. Select this number. Go to mode member design. Right, go to member design. Select the member. Right click on your mouse add members to design group right add same procedure okay right then go to design my number is m1 design okay automatically you will check this your column number what type of span the major bars and minor bars are okay no failure in our column right you check the main layout for your diagram for this bending moment in your column shear layout and the finally you take the results right this is our column number c5 is our column number right this is c5 is the column number then our column axial load kilo newton and major moment and minor moment design is a biaxial our ast required total bars mixed means mixed as a uh, 16 mm dia and 20 mm dia for this bars is a mixed bus and the AST provided right this is a AST required means the extra provided per provided uh, 200 AST per provider then this is our shear values shear in y direction in value kilonton is shear this this is our value for z direction shear then how many links will be provided automatically link strip is 10 spacing is 30 centimeter that is the concrete design is a brief one right that is a brief one for this calculation okay the next one is a result right the next one is a result that this is a result next one is a schedule simply click this schedule uh, same as you expect also column uh, cross section and longitudinal section also right export the column section and longitudinal section also also simply go to a2 sheet or a3 sheet converted in your convent converted for your purpose right i put a3 for my longitudinal section and cross section simply click ok automatically exported to which file autocad file you edited in your autocad right now understand simple one you go to this concrete design briefly take the column members rods and the others etc this is the type of bars the bar name t20 t20 the number of bars is a t40 is a four number t12 is a t10 is a t10 also 15 numbers right then bar length the four bars are 4275 mm and this type of numbers right the next one that's a simple design you will be design the column means is the minimum design for that purpose this concrete envelope design is the main design you take the reinforcement detailing diagram other diagram etc etc right now understand this is a basic concept for your uh, concrete rc structure right how to take the uh, bending moment and shear force how to take the load value and clear values by axial what type of ast value right? how to provide the reinforcement how to provide the reinforcement for this column Anyone, uh, please answer this question.
सिंपल सर वे Yeah, uh, this is a bar number is sixteen, but the provided the total number of bars will be provided for this column. How to provide the ties for this column? Anyone? The bar dia is a sixteen mm dia, but total bars are provided. How to provide the total number of bars for the ties? Anyone for this column? Anyone? Or bar size is a sixteen dia. Number of bars is a twelve. How four bars are you provide the simply rectangular ties right in column. Or twelve number of bars is there. How to provide the ties for your column? Which book or which code book you will be refer the type of reinforcement you provide for this column? Anyone? Which type of bar size? No, no, no. This is a, the bar size is a sixteen, right? The number of bars are twelve. For example, this is the answer, right? Ah, uh, simple. Wait, simple. This is a sixteen mm bar. Ah, uh, I simply take a one rectangle, right? This is a rectangle. Ah, uh, then how to The sixteen bars are there, right? Simply assumption as a sixteen bars. Okay, sixteen um, bars. How to provide the ties for the sixteen bars? This is a question. The sixteen bars are there. assumption as a this is our cross section. Sixteen uh, bars are there. How to provide the ties for this column? Anyone? How to provide the ties for this column? The normal is a sorry. This is a normal section. Only four columns, four rebars are there, right? Uh, four corners is a four rebars, right? Four rebars. You provided a simply as a ties, right? For this four rebars, but the sixteen rebars is there. How to provide the ties for this column? Anyone? That is a question. Anyone? Yesterday I told that already. How to take the ties for this sixteen number of bars and twenty number of bars in this column? Anyone? So okay. Uh, refer the SP thirty four code book right. Already I told that to refer the SP thirty four code book. This is our column maximum condition. We refer the SP thirty four code book in this page, right? The page number eighty seven. You refer this page on this SP thirty four code book. The normal four numbers of bars provided this type of ties. You go to sixteen bar means provided the this type of ties, right? See this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bars, right? This also ten. This also twelve bars is the right. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. This type of long columns. This type of columns provided for this apartment buildings, right? The column size is two hundred into nine hundred yamma. The column sizes are provided in apartment buildings, right? This type of ties using for this apartment buildings. The maximum or residential buildings is using for two uh, thirty by three hundred or three eighty four fifty, right? The apartment buildings are uh, maximum the tall structure, right? G plus fifteen or sixteen. You provided the two hundred into nine hundred size, two hundred into two thousand one meter. The maximum limit is a one meter. You provide the two hundred into nine hundred, two hundred into two thousand. You provide the same as size. You go to nineteen meters, nineteen eighteen eighteen bars or sixteen bars. You provided the this type of ties, right? Open ties, closed ties. This type you will be provided. You go to L shape and T shape. You will be provided this type of column, rebars, right? Now understand. 
how to provide the reinforcement detailing diagram for your 12 number of bars or 10 number of bars you refer the sp34 code books right this is the small basic things for this rainfall rcc structure right now understand basic structure then go for steel structure right we will discuss about steel structure how to create the steel stress how to create the loads and other values right yeah already all of us knows what are the elements will be in this roof uh, steel structure what are the elements anyone what are the elements will be comes on the one steel structure anyone is audible is audible or not anyone please answer what are the elements will be comes on the our st steel structure uh, uh, first element is a stress right stress uh, stress you already know the different types of stresses in our field right i will show this image first element is a stress i simply create a one 3d image right this is another one dress this is another one dress right the next one is a next element what is this this element and this one and this one Okay, fine. Um, so what are the elements in this picture? Anyone? What are the elements in this picture? This is a one industrial uh, steel structure, right? The industrial steel structure. What are the elements in this picture? Anyone? What are the elements is there? Yeah, Latin braces is there. Truss is there. Another one is a sagrats purlings and sheets and column section is there and footing is there right yeah patterns and different structure is there right uh the, uh lattice stress, stress different types of stresses and lattice stress this is our stress this is our purling this is our sagra this is our gi sheet this is our column i section this is our bracings this is our foundation base plate connections right these are the minimum things to design the one steel structure steel buildings right and uh, this is a stress right different types of stresses is there i will show right uh, this is a bottom card right already known this is a bottom card uh, this is a top card this is the center portion is a diagonal number right you know this is the bottom portion is a bottom card top card this is a diagonal already you studied in designing of steel structure right this is a diagonal number this is the the straight line is a top to top straight line is a purlin right this is a purlin this is a sag rod the sag rods are connected with two purlins right then this is a ga seat GAC, this is our column section, right? Column. This is our column. This is our footing, right? These are the main things to uh, design the 
steel building steel stress right steel structure one is the main thing is the stress and purlins ga sagras seeds different types of seeds and column portion column portion i section or any section and go to bracings for wind force maximum provide for the bracings for wind force right these are the main things to create a one steel structure for your small structure right okay then see this automatically this is the different types of structures right the first one is a stress so overall stress and directly to transfer to purlins but you compare with the concrete and steel steel is high like a c the concrete is also c but you compare with the steel is so difficult to design is a beginner but concrete is little bit to understand the concept you will be design easily but steel is some difficult to design right this is our truss the truss under stress is directly load transfer to our column the column is directly transfer to a footing right the ga seat and sagrats and the purlins the ga seat transfer to load to purlin the purlin transfer to truss the truss transfer to column the column load transfer to footing that is the main condition for our steel structure right this is a normal steel structure there is a prefabricated buildings right as a pre some of the prefabricated structure has using this type of warehouse designs you will be use this this type of designs right this is a normal types of truss you will be studied right king post truss double fang queen post this this type of based on your span size you will be create the different types of trusses right different types of trusses based on your conditions and etc right okay this is a different types of trusses king post double fix will be inverted queen post already studied in drc right different types of trusses right this is some of the common bridge trusses using for hawaii truss parrot truss baron pranker k truss these are trusses are using for common bridge trusses right now understand these are all using for building trusses these are all using for bridge trusses right the next one is a common section common section means what are the sections used to for our steel structures right anyone what are the sections for used to our steel buildings steel structure right this is our steel structure what are the sections should be used anyone for example frame structure using for concrete beam columns right grade of concrete is m20 steel is but you go for So my screen is visible okay sir what are the sections used to create a one roof trusses anyone i section i section and next channel. yeah channel sections ah channel section for our trusses i section for column ah uh. angle section angle section for purlins and other etc right yeah this are the main stretches for using our buildings right is correct ah uh, this is a co common sections for using for this channel section and i section t section rolled bars square bars and flat bars this are mainly used for this column section right i tell one by one this is our column channel section see this this is our sorry this is a rolled steel that i show that picture this picture is a structural c section rolled steel bars t bars the t bar this is a angle the angle is mainly used for purlins right the angles also purlins this is also purlins the i beams are mainly used for beam section or column section there is a channel section the mainly the channel sections are using for the trusses right the channel section back to back channel the single channel is using for purlins right uh, this is some of the i sections using for this this type of framed steel structures right see these pictures 
automatically the sum of the i sections using for this stretches these are the roof purlin sections this angle section only a roof purlin means you for angle section light gauge section that one right this is a c type purlins and z purlins and another rolled steel balls are using another sections also using right uh, this is our connections right see this automatic this is our purlin this is our roof truss right different types of roof truss is there this is our purlin what are the connections is there in our field what are the connections one is a welded bolted riveted yeah correct uh, three types of connections in our field one is a riveted means riveted is a old one you have to heat it in high temperature it automatically created in bolt right if heated in high temperature main big stretches are using in riveted the bolted stretches is commonly used for our real life uh, sorry many stretches like bolted this type of bolted stretches right the welded structure is mainly using for process welding channels welding used for process welding the three types of connections used for mainly in steel structure one is a riveted another one is a bolted another one is a riveted bolted welded right these are the main connections for our steel structure right this is a bracing systems uh, this is a vertical bracing and horizontal bracing systems right this the two bracings are mainly used for what purpose wind force right the resist the wind force uh, uh, lateral force the simply resist the lateral forces used for the vertical bracing or horizontal bracing system right you consider the what type of horizontal bracing and others roof cladding what type of sheets will be used for this top of the roof one is the clay tiles as but as sheets aluminium sheet coated metal sheet sandwich panels this type of what type of you will be sheet will be provided for this top of your buildings right there are so many roof sheets are there you will be search anyone you will be maximum as per as sheets are provided in our fields right this, this type of sheets what sheets will provided next one is the connections one is a bolted connection and welded connection and riveted connection right uh, this is our bolted connection see this automatically this is i section and i section two beam column section and beam section will be bolted right already studied right bolted die off of bar you consider as a designing of shear and bearing and efficiency right uh, simply the drs will be given the efficiency shear the mainly the stretch steel structure failure in anyone the steel structure failure in the, the section designed for shear or bearing purpose anyone so okay the mainly the design for the section will be designed for shear right you will be already studied in this book shearing and bearing resistance and efficiency will be taken this is our simple bolted connection right this automatically our bolted connection this also the angle plate is the these are the angle plate connected with these two sections right these are welded section this is different the bolted section means the simply two section is there simply bolt in this connection you provide the angle section simply click this two joints with the bolted connection this is welded the welded also some of the welded in this book right the one is the fillet weld snow weld another weld is i do not memorize it the mainly used for fillet weld right the fillet <laughs> Ah, oh, but weld correct. But weld, fillet weld, snow weld right. These are the three types of welded will be used in our field right. The bolted connection also. Right. This is the difference with this is a bolted connection for creating the bolt whichever you will be die off for the holes whatever will be load taken for this bolt in this connection right. This is the our welded connection. You will be welded connection for this connection right. See this. This is an automatic connection welded. This is one angle is that this is a welded connection. You will build this. How many thickness will be welded for your provision, right? Uh, this is a basic of a foundation base plate. You know about anyone? This is a base plate connection, right? The base plate will be provided for two places. One is the 
bottom on the footing another one is a, the base plate which which place we provided for this base plate one is the bottom of the footing right the another one is the concrete column and stress that t area will be provided for this base plate connection right this is the main this is for footing for this steel structure this is steel column the steel column is provided in this concrete that is a base plate connection this is the foundation design for this steel structure right you will be designed for this bolted connection or welded connection you go for channel selection and the foundation you go for gasset base plate connection another one is a gasset plate connection right two connections are main connection right this is, this is our connections right now understand this is the main thing so many things are the small rewindable steel structure simply different types of channel section different types of stresses and different types of connections and different types of foundations right this is our, this is our bottom is a concrete foundation and you will be check the con column load and concrete pressure you will be calculate the area of the footing and the welded connection for this your side will be welded for this portion right there is a base plate connection the next one is what are the loads concerned for your steel stress the one is is875 following the dead load for your sheets and others etc imposed load and bin load you define as the any other cashmere or any places you find that snow loads right snow loads the snow loads code book for part four you define the snow load our area simply designed for bin loads right the some of the other areas you design for snow loads the part five is the vessel loads in combination this is a earthquake load right this is a small introduction about the loads for combination right yeah uh stat pro uh, i create one material for stat pro it is a 92 pages is there uh, is a creating on frame researcher and steel structure connections etc in this uh, pdf note the pdf notes in slides are also i end of the class i will send that note link right you will refer and create this it creates a 3d frame researcher and step by step procedure right this this type of step by step procedure you will be given in in this notes right you will refer and create the steel structure and concrete basic structures right now understand uh, what are the elements for user in our steel structure what are the connections bolted connection or welded connection riveted connections and other foundations like a base plate foundation or any other foundations right this is the small introduction for our steel structure right then then go for stack simply create a one stress right i take a one example for this stress Yeah, this is a N type truss, right? N type truss. Uh, this is a buxom, right? This is a N type truss. Uh, this is the span is a 18 meter span, right? The 18 meter span, this type of purlin. Uh, BC something is there, right? You now itself, how to create the this type of same dimension truss? How to give the loads and analyze in your stat pro, right? It's a fixed condition. The you refer this I this book is a uh, Jago Balansa. You know about very well in Koyamathur Mitram stretches. Is a that is a you work worked as a PhD and he has a many consultancy work in steel stretcher. There is the author of this book, MS Jago Balansa, right? Uh, how to draw the this same type N type roof dress in your stat pro, right? Uh, this is a 18 meter dress is a dimension center dimension is a 1.8 this calculation is there also you go for calculation the two many times should be taken uh, this is a one number to number distance between one number to number 1.82 meter you see this, the length of the shed is 800 meter span of the truss is 18 meters right height of the floor from is already height is given number of the panels 10 panels one two three sorry one two three four five 
this is a panels 1 2 3 4 5 panels and this side 1 2 3 4 5 this is a panels this is a one panel 2 3 4 5 totally 10 panels the panel width is a 1.8 meter right this is a panel width is a 1.8 meter height and this end of the roof height is 0 0.4 0 0.4 meter right this is the end of the roof height this is the 0 0.4 0 0.4 meters the middle height of the truss is 1.8 meter right middle height of the truss is 1.8 meter i uh, using for this channel section for this truss then how to analyze this section or how to take the values and how to find the connections and the other etc right okay simply first of all i simply open this tab okay then how to create the first of all this is a, uh, previous days will be designed on geometry node method today we will design on snap node method right today we will discuss on snap node method this is snap node method uh, this is a y direction this is a x direction right this is a y direction this is a x direction uh, what trusts length is a anyone our truss length is a anyone our truss length is a uh, 18 meter right how to draw the 18 meter our snap node method is a 10 right how to increase the x direction means uh, simply go for this is a snap node beam measurement this is a x direction right this is a x direction this is a x direction this is a y direction i need a 18 meter from this x direction this is a x i simply click this 11 12 13 14 15 17 18 meters right this is a 18 meters right okay 18 meters stress i simply go to snap node beam click this snap node beam I take a assumption as a column as a ground to uh, top is a 5 meters right I take assumption as a column ground to top is a 5 meter this automatically our press length is a 18 meter right check this dimension 18 meter right then our bottom height is a sorry end height is a select this node presser our two end heights are How many meters? Two end heights. 0.4 and 0.4, right? Our two end heights are 0 0.4, 0 0.4 meter. Center height is a 1.8 meter, right? Then I select this two node points. Control. Then simply go to geometry. Uh -huh. Otherwise, you go for this one also. Snap node method, right? sorry geometry nodes method you go for geometry node method is a easy one right then simply go to our x point is a anyone starting x is a zero zero right y is the point four right four not a four meter point four meter four hundred mm only point four right Once again, transmission y direction geometry node point next this is zero. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a starting point in this place, so that is some different. This is a six meter right. This is a distance is simply go to geometry snap node beam method right this is a 5 meter right 5 meter simply select this select this node point simply go to translation repeat y direction sorry geometry node method our x direction is a 0 y is a 0.4 or 5.4 
our y direction is only 0.4 or 5.4. But the bottom is a zero. But I create one column for five meter above this beam is above in five meter, right? The height after the uh, five point four meter enter, right? Now it's created. The next point is a x is a end point, right? This end point also is in direction is a point four, right? Eighteen meter. Then height is a five point four. Next one is a center distance, right? Center is a 1.8 meter height. The x is a 9 meter height. Center point is a 9 meter. This our center point is a 9 meter, right? The center height is a 1.8 meter. 9 is the height is a 1.8 enter. Sorry. 1.8 or 6.8? 6.8. Right. 6.8 enter right now it's created right now it's simply created the node points then draw the top chord of the trusses right how to draw the trusses means simply go to geometry go to add beam go to add beam from point to point right click this this point and this point right then join this center see this this point and this point and this point right yes sorry this is a top then how to create the my node for my center point there's a no node nodes are there how to create the node point in center point simply go to another one method is there insert node option right go to insert node then go to add midpoint right you okay automatically created node point right Simply go to geometry, add beam, add beam from point to point. This is automatically created. How to check the dimensions? Simply go to dimensions display. This is automatically over 9 meter. Then is a 0 0.4 and 1.8 thickness. Right. Yeah. It will be created. Then next one is the next one. What will be created? Next one now itself it will be created, right? Next one is created for diagonal numbers, right? Now itself created the top bars and bottom bars. The next one is created for diagonal numbers, right? How many diagonal num numbers are there? Panel numbers one, two, three, four, right? The four panel numbers are there. See this, this is the panel numbers one, two, three, four. Four are there, right? How to create the four panel numbers? Simply click this four panel numbers. Uh, the distance is a panel number distance is 1.82 meter, right? 1.82 meter, right? How to create the four panels for this 1.82? Simply go to insert node, right? Insert node. Uh, simply go to create the four option right simply click this four click this i create the four panels then go to add end points right add end points simply click ok this is automatically go to check this dimensions dimension display see this automatically it's take the 1.82 meters right same procedure simply click this go to insert node i have a four panels i simply click this four panels add end points right automatically created the end points click ok this is automatically it will be created right end points then how to create the cross and straight diagonal numbers right this is the cross diagonal numbers and straight diagonal numbers for my trust simply go to geometry two methods are there geometry add beam add beam from perpendicular click this automatically it's take a, this option you simply go to add beam from point to point is only for framed switcher or uh, not a uh, different 
asymmetrical different little bit different you go for straight perpendicular means you go for this this option add beam from perpendicular intersection right geometry add beam add beam perpendicular intersection and next two point see this automatically this is a perpendicular intersection see this this one and this one this one and this one right see this then check the dimensions also simply click this little bit different is no problem simply go to dimension display see this right little bit different is no problem so automatically it will be created the top only 1.82 automatically it will change some distance right okay now itself automatically it's created the top bars and bottom bars right then how to create the cross bars cross diagonal numbers right the cross diagonal numbers is that this type of shapes simply go to this the cross right this one this one this one and this type or this type right how to create it means simply go to geometry now itself go to add beam from point to point right i need this point to this point this point this point and this point this point right then next to this side this simply it will be created sorry this not will be created this automatically the n type truss will be simply created later this is a method to create the any trusses for your roof trusses right now itself i simply created the this type of trusses right this is a basic creation for our this type of trusses right okay next one is the same same procedure simply go to modeling then go to general right this is our general first step is a material then go to steel assign to view assign yes right i give the steel property then second is a property right this is a main thing uh, this is a the define is a for concrete section right the section database is for steel structures right section database for steel structures simply click this section database simply go to different countries are there i click this indian right I different types of shape s shape i shape m shape t shape all shapes are available i, I use it for channel section for me c section for me all presses right channel section i simply go for is mc medium section 200 at for all members right simply click this assign to view assign yes then go to 3d view this this is our truss it will be created this is our channel section mainly the roof trusses are using for this channel only right the second third step is over simply click property create the right the next one support two corners are give the fixed support simply go to create go to fixed support then click this this corner and this corner center corner will be any support is there anyone the so what purpose the steel structure will be go for anyone first one is a economical another one is a mainly go for marriage halls in a auditorium that open space in the area will be go for steel stresses right opening area will go for steel stresses simply select this assign yes i simply created this structure right i simply create this roof press our second step is over third step is over next one load and definition right how to the apply the load means i same as the some pages i not take this pages from this book uh, this load calculation also there you refer this book easily take the load calculation also right i take this first one load case one 
at same procedure go to dead load ऑटोमेटिकली Uh, simply go to load case one add right sulfate add simply apply the sulfate for this full portion right the sulfate automatically sometimes the comma mark is that is not taken into sulfate in your structure if somebody is automatically take the sulfate the maximum the step of press testing means to apply on the nodal load right. The nodal load will be apply on your trusses, right? The nodal load. You go to frame resistor, you apply on the floor loads like a live load, dead load. That is a nodal load for this nodal points. You simply apply the this points for your structures, right? Then apply the dead loads and live loads. The maximum our sheet loads are sheet loads maximum one square meter to two square meter. You simply take a two kilogram per meter square for this load. And our live load are same like a two or three. Why? The maximum the top of the roof, no one can that right. So you reduce the live load also, right? I take the live load and let load as a four kilonewton per meter kilonewton, right? The nodal load is a point load. I take the dead load for my sheet is a two kilonewton, and the live load is a two kilonewton. Totally four kilonewton, right? Simply. Add this is nodal load, right? The nodal load I act as a minus four kilo newton. Add. Select means all the node points. The load will be add. I need this top nodal point. This point only acting on the nodal loads. The parallel load acting on this nodal points, right? You go to this option isometric option. Uh, otherwise, you go for um, anyone, right? You simply select this isometric option on the top node. Select it. Assign to selected nodes. Assign yes. Right. See this. Simply reduced and see this values means labels and load. Sorry, load values. Okay. This automatically will be load values acting on our trusses. Right. Then you go for analyze. Right. I simply create a one truss. The parallel loads act on my section is a four kilonewton for all trusses. The truss, the top guard is transferred to diagonal number. The diagonal number is acted overall to bottom guard. The bottom guard load is acting on the footing right column. Simply go to analyze and print. Add, analyze, run, analyze, same right. You check the bending moment and is bending. Shear and deflection for your structure. Zero errors, zero warning. Right. You done. Next to go to post processing. Okay. Then check the deflection for your formulas and bendings for your steel stresses and shear for your steel. Check your shear for your steel stresses. Right. The same value. How to same procedure? Simply click this deflection. Go to result. View value beam result maximum resultant right. This is our deflection for my structure right. Then how to design my steel structure right? How to design my steel structure means simply go to modeling, go to design, go to steel right. Steel. What's our code for steel design? Anyone? What is our code for steel design? Uh, IS eight hundred, right? Ah, uh, I simply go to IS eight hundred. Uh, yes, correct. IS eight hundred, right? I simply select this IS eight hundred. Same procedure as the concrete, right? Simply go to select parameters. 
we will be take this this side into this side mm, this so many values k by all values are there i simply take this only one value yield strength of steel right i take the only one value simply take this yield strength of steel okay then go to define parameters our yield strength of concrete is 25 kilo newton per newton per mm square convert as a q okay i simply give only one yield strength simply click this assign to view assign yes right i apply the yield strength for my steel structure then same procedure go to commands check code check code add for the analyze and take off right these are the main things for your structure simply select the check code assign to view assign yes take off steel quantity assign to view assign yes right simply first step is modeling step is over i create a one steel model then go to general apply the material property for my channel section then support then i give the nodal load i calculate the manual i give the nodal load then post processing and design for take the parameters right then simply analyze go to analyze run analyze save right zero warning zero error simply click done check the one by one number see this is a design property or steel section number property go to steel design your strenuous ratio is already you studied in uh, structural analysis right so your number is a compression or tension you will be designing the uh, how to design your bolted connection anyone to take a forces right member forces you will be designing the your welded connection or bolted connection right is it right the number forces you take the member forces you simply take the member forces you will be design the design side right? next one you simply this is a pause the section is a pause right automatically the section will be passed the ratio the compression zone right the force is a 48.22 the compression force this type of the force is a same select property this also pause this compression this also compression then this one right the steel property pass the compression force then this one right this also tension number this also pass right this you design this one joint right this is in this one joint you take the one two three four numbers of forces right you will be designing this joint welded connection or bolted connection riveted connection you will be take the four number of forces you already studied in structural analysis right or steel structure you simply analyze this part you take the four number of forces right you check this this one steel structure this section also tension zone this also pass right this automatically this all sections are pass compression this is a bottom guard right this is a reaction load the column load i have only apply on my top load right then go to i check my column load right simply go to reaction see this automatically our reaction is 22.00 understand i simply apply on this load on this nodal portion only but the nodal portion is transferred to bottom and diagonal number directly to this column right the column load is 22.2 and 22.2 right this is all numbers are passes right how to sometimes the numbers will be fail right i simply go to general go to property right simply go to edit now i take islc 75 minimum number right then go to analyze run analyze right i take a minimum number save right then check this number steel design automatically the section will be fail why anyone I take the channel section ISLC 75. The section will be failed. Why? Anyone? The section will be passed. But some of the section will be failed. Anyone? What to do? The section will be failed. Then go for. The section will be failed. Then go for. Anyone?
anyone to re retain the another structure go for another channel number right ISLC is a fail simply go for increase the channel number right simply go to Indian go to channel the ASMC is fail I take a ISMC 200 right simply go to assign to view yes this is the condition for this number simply go to analyze run analyze save right sometimes you will be failure in connection you will be redesigned change the channel sizes now it's see automatically the channel number you design the manually right the next one is a steel design the concrete design has the same procedure right simply go to new envelope i take a no combination load simply select this new envelope is so, okay next one is a member design i take this some members right member design simply go to member design physical numbers auto form members yes one and two i add the one and two for this members right next to briefs and groups right you go to new brief i take a code is 800 same procedure simply okay next to new design group right already have selected as a two numbers simply select the group add select these two numbers transfer to this side simply transfer to this side okay right create the new brief and a new group right next one simply go for design right go to member then go for So go for number to create the new brief simply select this new brief for this steel then go to select the members right sorry simply go to members go to member design performance group check code right okay group design completed successfully right our group designs are completed successfully then go to results and reports right simply click this results and report see this our section is ismc 200 design section also 200 our beam specification centerness check is a pass and axial check is no check and combined axial bending checks also pass shear along with the y direction shear along with this direction all numbers will be passed you detail it will be taken right simply create this same position you will be simply created this is a excel value xy value and then other value fixed end condition you will be go to result and report simply go to m1 member m1 which channel original channel is 200 design channel also centerness check is a pause and other bending and axial check you will be check the all the conditions right the simple method to easily find out the steel stresses right right uh, simply you create the steel stresses right but this is the how to create the 3d modeling right see this automatically now itself i created the one dress i give the loads and analyze for this structure how to pause or fail and other etc then how to create the 3d stresses right first of all i delete this support simply select this delete yes okay now delete this support right then go to geometry go to snap node beams right then i create the column section geometry go to add beam from point to point right this is automatically this so okay sometimes you go for uh geometry node method also right simply go to geometry nodes bottom x is a zero and y is a zero right automatically created this points it's not visible simply go to labels go to node num, node points right apply see this automatically our point is visible geometry nodes 
then next then go to zero then what is it sorry next point is a 18 then go to zero it is automatically the two points are created simply go to geometry add beam add beam from point to point this is automatically it will be created the columns right this is the one truss i need a four truss for this spacing one one truss is a five meter 5 meter spacing how to create this five stresses simply go to translation repeat go to the action right uh, i take a 8 meter spacing i need a five stresses right simply click ok this automatically it will be created the 5 meter truss per 5 1 2 3 4 5 right then next one how to create the purlins right Simply go to geometry, go to add beam, add beam from point to point. Click this, this joint to this joint, this joint and this joint, this point, right? Next to this point to this point, this point and this point, this point, and this point, and this point, right? This point. This point, yeah. same like a procedure for this. All the things, right? You'll be follow the all the sides for this same pressure. You for this side also, right? Then how to create the support? Simply go to supports, go to create fixed support, right? Simply select this two corners, right? Sorry, select the node point. Simply select this node corner. Assign yes right simply go to 3d view see this automatically otherwise you go for beam same procedure will be follow right this is automatically it will be created perlins and other works etc you simply see this it's visible Once again, sorry for this inconvenience. Sorry for the inconvenience. Some issues will be follow. Sorry. So, okay, sorry for this inconvenience. Extremely sorry for this issues. Right. So, okay, simply I created this same like this Perlin for this. And this is a purling, the purling load acting on this roof truss and the roof truss acting on this column. And then the column will be acting on this foundation, right? This is a see this automatically will be see that. Yeah, this is our 3D roof truss. The purling are I not given, now itself I not given this uh, material, right? Not given this material so same procedure we will be follow the uh, proceedings for this create the purlin uh, materials and other etc right this is a simple method to analyze your roof truss and uh, creating for your whole material etc the first of all let's see the 
how to manage the one single addresses and then how to create the group addresses for this 3d structure then how to create the purlins this is a column post you will be simply create the sections right this is the basic things for creating the sections now itself i complete this section any doubt will ask me okay uh, okay and now i complete this section first of all i sorry for this network issues some problem to The lower edge, sir. But if you have any doubt, uh, please send me to your link. You can ask your question. 